Hi everyone, this is Mike with Southwinds Rentals. Today I want to talk about the maintenance and operations of your sewer system on an RV or travel trailer. We're going to have a demonstration on emptying the sewer tanks and monitoring those sewer tank levels. Here we are in front of a 2019 Cruiser Radiance travel trailer. And as you can see, we're already hooked up with our sewer lines. And as you look down here, you'll see two different valves down here. Uh, you'll have your gray valve and you'll have your black valve. It represents two different tanks. Both tanks hold about 35 gallons, roughly. The gray valve uh, is your water from all your sinks, your outdoor kitchen, your shower. Uh, so it'll fill up pretty fast. The black valve over here is your toilet only valve. When you get to a campsite, a lot of campsites will have sewer hookups right there at the site. When you go to, to empty this, these tanks, you want to start off emptying out the black tank. Don't uh, dump your black tank until it gets around three quarter full, if at all possible. The reason for that is it needs to have a, a good flush out when you dump the black tank to clear everything out of the tank. There's also something in a lot of trailers called a black tank flush. You'll put your water hose in here. This actually has jets of water that will spray out the inside of the black tank. As you have this open, it'll cleanly flush out everything in the black tank. After you pull your black tank flush and empty that all the way, you'll push it back in. Then secondly, you want to do your gray tank flush. By pulling this gray valve open, it actually rinses out your sewer hose. Of course, when you hook up your sewer hose, it's good to have a, a clear view hose adapter right there. And then also, you can have one on the other end, which this part, of course, goes into the ground. Now, we talked about hooking this hose up to a campground that has sewer right there at the site. Many campgrounds do not have sewer. A lot of state parks, some of them might have half of their sites with full hookups, some will not. They'll just have water and electric. So for those sites that don't have that sewer hookup right at the site, it's a public dump station uh, where you can take tanks like this. This is a 35 gallon portable waste container. So that's a basic demo of how the sewer systems work on an RV or travel trailer. Now let's go inside and I'll show you how you can monitor the levels on the sewer tanks. When you come inside the RV, the control panel is usually on the left hand side as soon as you walk in the door. Sometimes they're in different locations in the RV. Uh, every RV is different. On this particular control panel, you'll have your buttons right here uh, that have your battery level, your fresh tank level, your black level, which is your toilet tank level, and then your gray level, which is all your other kitchen sinks and shower level. And you can see the different levels and how they're rising because there's indicators in the tanks. So there's a demonstration of, of how you can monitor your tanks and know when to empty them. Safe travels and happy camping.